guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here in today's video I'm going to be doing another Christmas set this one I'm more excited about I was much happier with it so we're just gonna be using the pointed almond nail tips I already got them on my nails they're already prepped and everything so we're gonna get straight into this video so I'm going in with the model ones acrylic I'm going in with the red and the white from the kit and just to start off, the my room was really cold, so for some reason the acrylic was super, super liquidy. This whole video was not my best. Um, this was not my best. It, like, it wasn't me, it was just the acrylic was really watery. No matter how many times I wiped my brush, it just did not want to... Ugh, it just didn't want to let go of the monomer. It was really wet. I'm guessing it's because my room was cold, but just wanted to let you know it's going to be a little bit rocky, but we're going to make it work. So on this first nail, I'm going to be doing a half candy cane, candy cane. I'm going to be doing a half candy cane nail, and then the bottom I'm going to be doing more of a glass nail, and I'm going to put like a little snowflake and some red sparkles in there. So. First I'm going in with my little cuticle pusher because I could not find my X-Acto knife and I'm just basically cutting it down. I'm going to remove all that excess and then you're going to see here I'm going in with my drill just to get rid of all that because I, I couldn't look at it. So of course if you're going to do it like this, always make sure to be super gentle around the natural nail, especially with a bit like this. It's quite abrasive so you do not want to like drill through it so just be very gentle and just try to get the product. Um, next off, I'm just going to be putting a line of red. This one was a lot easier to work with, but not on the other fingernails, because I will be doing full fingernails with this red, and they were it was a lot wetter, so I, I don't know. But you can see it soaks up the monomer, and it gets super, super runny. So I'm, I'm yeah, I'm really going to blame it on the cold, because I've never had acrylic work like this, and in my last video, it was a lot easier to work with, so... Anyways, we're going to do our best, but yeah, so I'm just going to lay this down, I'm going to do another line of white, and then we're going to be doing the glass nail, and then we're going to move on to the other nails. Alright, so that's it done. I'm just gonna go in and just file to make sure it's as crisp as can be. And then I'm going in with these little glitters and I'm going to just be laying down a thin layer of clear and then I'll just stick them on there. Alright, so now we're moving on to the white nail. Yeah, there was a little piece of brush there, I pulled it out. But, yeah, so it looks pretty nice right here, like it's going okay, but then you can see it starts to get runny. And no matter what I did, I put my brush in the monomer, I would soak out the monomer, I'd put it in the pot, I would let it sit there, absorb the acrylic for like 3 seconds, and then I would also put the brush down on the paper towel and let the monomer soak out. And even then, my beads were too wet, so then I even tried to go down to a smaller brush with less monomer in it, and it was the same thing. So it was very difficult to get it onto around the cuticles and everything. I'm really guessing this was all due to how cold it is outside. It's getting to be winter, it's getting freezing out, and my, my monomer, my acrylic, cannot take it. So I tried my best. The application is a little bit messy and a little bit clumpy, but... I tried to fix it as much as I could with the filing, and yeah, it was a struggle. <laughs> but now we're moving on to the middle finger and the pointer, and I'm going to be going in with the red, which as well was very runny, but at this point I was kind of just going with it, however it wanted to go on, it was going to go on, and I just made the best effort that I could. 
So I'm just gonna let you guys watch this, I'm just applying this all over the middle and the pointer. Alright, so now moving on to this gold. So originally when I chose it, I thought it was the lighter gold, and then it ended up being this gold. And I like this gold, but I was it's okay. I mean, I like the lighter gold, so I was a little bit disappointed, and I was like, do I keep it? But then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make it work. It's gonna look cute. So here's me struggling once again, nothing new. And I'm just gonna apply that all over the thumb, and then we're gonna get into the clear capping. Alright, so now that the acrylic is all laid down on the nails, I'm going to be going in with the clear capping. Now, I did speed this up and make it a little bit shorter. I did some more, but I just cut out the parts that are just a bit repetitive. So I'm just briefly going over all the clear capping. I'll clear cap all the nails, and then I will file. I did not leave the filing in the footage because... Normally I don't, but if you guys want me to, I definitely can, so just let me know in the comments if you like filing in the video, because I can always leave some filing in the videos. So now that the nails have been clear capped and filed, I'm going to be putting my top coat on just so it's easier to do the nail art. So I know on this nail it looks like there's a massive divot in the thumbnail, like it looks like it's concaving. But that's weird because I filed these so well, I was so happy with the shape and the structure, so I think that's just a camera thing. Sometimes the camera just makes my nails look weird, but I swear I was so proud of this filing and everything. Also, if you can see, I kind of overfiled on this finger a little bit, but you know what? It's cute. It's like little, little silver ombre. But yeah, I'm just gonna be covering covering these with my top coat, and then I'll be able to go in with some nail art. Alright, so I'm going to cure that for about 60 seconds, and then I'm going to go into my nail art. So for the white nail, I'm going to be putting a little reindeer on it. So I'm going in with my Unmasked by C&D, 
and I'm just putting that down and then I'm going to start going in and making my little antlers <laughs> no I am not a professional I'm not fantastic at this this is my first time trying to do like a little animal with nail art so I chose the easiest one that I thought was the cutest to do so I'm just going putting my two lines and I cured that in between to make sure they didn't move so it stayed in the center of the nail and then I'm just going out and making my antlers these don't have to be done any certain way every antler is different so that's why I chose it I was like I can make lines easy so I'm just putting on my antlers then I'm going to flip my hand I believe in a second just to get the lines a little bit straighter because it was easier in this direction and then every single line I make I cure in between because I did not want it to move so if you guys are doing nail art, always cure in between, it makes everything so much easier. But those were my antlers, and now I'm going in with Black Pool by CND, and those I'm gonna make little eyes. So I'm taking my little dotting tool, and I'm just making little eyes. They don't have to be perfect, again, art is sub it's, it's your thing, you know? Art doesn't have to look any certain way. So I'm going in with Chandelier by CND and I'm making a cute little nose. I thought it was so cute, the little copper nose. And there's my reindeer. Oh my god, I love it. I thought it was so, so, so cute. So now I'm going to be going in with a little candy cane. So basically I'm going to be taking the McCart Clear and I'm just going to use that to put a little glob and that's going to hold it in place. It's going to be able to sink into it and it's going to be able to stay there and not move. So I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and there's my little candy cane. And then I'm going in with this for the thumb and I'm going to put like little white pearls all around it. I loved how this turned out. You know, the gold wasn't that bad after I did this. I thought it was such a cute nail. So I'm just going into my little Christmas decoration thingy and I'm just taking the little white pearls and I'm going to be placing that in every single little divot around this jewel. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. I'm just going to be putting some cuticle oil on. So I really hope you guys loved this video. These are my new and improved Christmas nails. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!